Hey guys, it's Al Murray. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to safely look at the sun to see eclipses, sunspots, and the upcoming transit of Venus on June 5th. Warning, never look directly at the sun, either with your naked eye or through any magnifying device. You will hurt yourself, you can go blind. Do not look at the sun directly. So what do you do if you can't look at it directly? You look at it indirectly. You see all this stuff here? Basically what we have is a viewing box. All this does is has a piece of white reflective paper inside and a light trap to protect other light from coming in. The next thing we have is basically a pinhole sheet. All this is is a piece of cardboard with a hole cut through it and to get a very clear, crisp point, I just put a piece of foil and poked a hole in it with a pin. The basic premise behind this is to make a pin. And you can see inside, it's a little dim because the light is very, very bright from the sun, even with our light trap. Now that's kind of small. If I go further out, I can make the sun bigger, but it's such a small hole coming through, it's still very, very dim. So what do we do? Well, a couple of things we can try. Number one, we can build a pinhole telescope. This is a longer tube, narrow, less light. I cut out the end, again, a piece of foil and a tiny hole and then just a viewing spot in the back. The whole point behind this is we point this at the sun. So this is the easiest way to do it and it's very simple to aim. You hold it up. Want to, uh, if you wouldn't mind Dave just holding, pull it, panning back so you can sort of see how I'm doing this. And you can see the shadow, the way you aim it is you make the shadow of the box the smallest it is, and then you're centered in. Now again, this is good enough if we were, but it's very, very bright outside. So if we were in a darkened room, looking out the window, this might be better. So, so far these are workable, but not the best we can see. We can make this a little darker, but not much. So the next thing we're going to do is to project it through with magnifying magnification. These are my binoculars. I cut out one hole in a piece of cardboard, fit the binocular through, we keep the other side blocked off. Basically what we're going to do is shine this at the sun. Again, holding it over your shoulder. And this is a little trickier to do, but once you get it you'll be able to find it. All right. Okay, got it. So this is pretty good, and you can see the sunspots. It's a little unstable. You might want to do this on some kind of a stand. You can see two sunspots near the equator of the sun, middle of the sun. Now, some of the black spots you see are on the paper, and they're just things. It's a little jumpy. But in this it would be very nice to see the annular eclipse, or on June, to watch Venus transiting. So um, pull back, Dave, so you can see the entire effect, how this is looking. Mm -hmm. All right, so pull back so you can see me aiming it in, and I'm looking into the box, not looking at the sun. So there we have it. Three very safe ways of looking at the sun regular pinhole, a pinhole camera, or projected through this. So remember, go outside, look up, but never directly at the sun. 